What is up, YouTube? It is Wednesday, March 8th. It's a beautiful day here in Columbus, Ohio. We got our Arnold vlog uploaded yesterday, so definitely check that out if you haven't seen it yet. So today, um, today's vlog is gonna kind of be sporadic, just getting back to normal life after the amazing weekend that we had. So I'm gonna show you guys a recipe that I'm going to be making. So it's going to be homemade marinara, well, homemade spaghetti. So I'm gonna do homemade marinara, venison meatballs, and um, high protein, low carb isolator fitness pasta. So this is something that we were giving away at the Arnold and at our group workout as well. It's like I said, it's low net carb and high protein pasta. I'll show you guys that, I'll show you guys the macros. And if you wanna order that, it is on isolatorfitness.com. They have two different pastas and a rice. If you are low carb, we're not necessarily doing low carb, high carb, anything like that right now, but I just prefer eating that over something that I could get at the store. So that's why I'm eating it. So I did just wanna talk quickly about something I was thinking while I was doing dishes. Um, something that got brought up quite a bit at the Arnold and what I see a lot online, what I see a lot of my live sessions is how do you stay so motivated? And one, you need to have internal motivation. You need to have an internal goal because no matter what, Jerry, sorry, Jerry's playing with the camera. Um, no matter what, you need to have something burning inside of you that says, I need to be somewhere where I'm not. So this is where I am and I know I need to be over here and now I just need to figure out how to do that. So you need to have that first and foremost because external motivation will not last. I promise you that. You could watch this video a million times and I could be screaming in your face saying, you need to do this, you need to do that, or you could listen to a million self-help books. But until you have it in your heart, you will not stay committed to a plan. I'm just being honest. So definitely make sure that you know where you are and know where you wanna go and then part two of how to stay motivated is to make sure that you have a plan that will get you from point A to point B. So I'm gonna kind of give you guys an analogy because I am cooking. So I was thinking while I was doing dishes like, oh, this is actually pretty interesting. So for my venison meatball recipe, I've never made this before. I've never made homemade meatballs before. So what do I do? If I've never done something before, I'm not just gonna be like, oh, hey, I know what to do. I know all the ingredients that I need and I know what to do and I know how to mix it and I know how to cook it and I know how to do all the things. I don't know how to do those things, so I'm gonna look online or I'm gonna look in a cookbook that I've bought or I'm going to ask my mom. You know, I'm going to ask someone who's done this beforehand kind of see where I'm going with this. So if you are new to fitness and you've never trained before or you've never written yourself a meal plan or diet nutrition plan before, why wouldn't you hire someone to do so? Or why wouldn't you look online on your free resources for, you know, on YouTube or all these amazing people that you might follow on Instagram? It makes sense, right? It makes sense if you've never done it before. I don't know how to change my own oil, so I'm not gonna go out and do it. I'm gonna go hire someone to do it for me because I know they'll do a good job. I know it'll take a hell of a lot less time, and then I don't have to do it myself. Yes, self-learning is incredible, and yes, you will gain a lot of self-worth if you do those kinds of things. But for me, I don't have that kind of time to learn how to change my oil. I'll probably mess it up. It'll probably cost me 10 times as much in the long run than I if I had just went and hired someone to do it. So the same applies for fitness. The same applies for training. The same applies for cooking venison meatball recipe. I found a recipe that I really like in a cookbook that I bought. I'm gonna use that. Could I sit there and for the next 10 days figure out what ingredients I'll need, what I should be cooking it at, how I should be mixing it, the portions, trial and error, wasting a ton of time, wasting a ton of meat. I wanna eat these venison meatballs right now. I don't wanna eat them in 10 days and have 95 really bad meatball batches and I've wasted all that meat, I've wasted all those ingredients, I've wasted time, I've wasted money, I'm mentally exhausted. I don't wanna even know, I don't even know if I wanna eat meatballs at this point anymore. And that is the same thing that happens to a lot of people when it comes to fitness. You think you can do it on your own and I'm not doubting your abilities, but honestly, wouldn't it just be a lot easier instead of wasting three or four years figuring out what doesn't work instead of just hiring someone who knows what does work in the first place? That's what will keep you motivated. A plan that works will keep you motivated. If I mess up 95 meatball recipes, I probably won't try a 96th batch because I suck at making meatballs by myself. That's no one's fault. That's not my fault. I didn't go to culinary school. I don't know what I'm doing. But my point is, if you do want to make a change and you do want to stay motivated, make sure you hire someone to get a plan that works. 
Hire a trainer at the gym, hire someone online, hire a friend who's done this. Whoever you wanna hire, this isn't a hire Sarah Bomar, hire Josh Bomar, or enlist onto bomarfitness.com. If you want to, we would love if you became a member on bomarfitness.com. We've had incredible results from our clients. But my point is, if you truly want to stay motivated, you need to see results. You need to make good meatballs. Results, good meatballs. And then you'll keep doing it. If this meatball recipe works out, yeah, I'm gonna use it again. And then I'm gonna recommend it to my friends and family and you guys on Instagram. Hello? It's no different than a freaking training program. You guys need to make sure that you're making progress because if you are not making progress, I promise you will not stick to it because why would you? You'll just be wasting your time. That's like me with the meatballs. I'm not gonna waste my time making nine to five recipes. I'm just gonna use one that I know already works because they've put in a cookbook, so obviously it works. Get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I hope my analogy made sense. I hope I didn't offend anyone. So, you need to have it in your heart and then you need to have a plan that will get you from point A to point B. And then you need to make sure you know what works. If this recipe doesn't work out in this cookbook, I won't use that recipe again. I'll find a new one. That's easy, that's easy. Not every person is gonna like every recipe on the face of the earth. Not every person is gonna be able to, to make every training program on the face of the earth work. It's finding what works for you and then sticking to it and evolving and making yourself better and making progress. So that's my little recipe to training program analogy. I hope it made sense. You guys might think I'm on crack. I don't know. It made sense in my head when I was doing the dishes. So I hope it made sense to you guys. I'm going to go cook. Isn't my, I got this this weekend. Isn't that fun? So I'm going to go cook and then we're going to go to the gym. Um, I'm going to lift arms today. It should be a lot of fun. We have a few errands to run. We have to just do like adult bank boring stuff. A few errands to run. We have some business calls this morning, some emails to follow up with. Let's go eat, let's go cook. Okay, so we are going to start our venison meatballs and then I'm going to be using this pasta. So I told you guys I would show you the macros. So this is from, like I said, Isolator Fitness. And they make two different kinds. They make this penne and then this um, spirally. I don't know how to say that, so I call it spirally. And then in one serving, there's 30 grams of protein and seven net carbs. And it's delicious, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's really, really, really good. You do, though, have to boil it for a little bit longer, so do plan accordingly. Let's get to the baking. All right, so we're gonna do our meatballs first. I think that is, like, the hardest thing in the world to figure out, like, how to start certain things at certain times so, like, everything's done at once. So, like, props to everyone who's figured this out. All right, so we have one egg. We're doing one quarter cup breadcrumbs. We found these. The garlic and herb cup, that would be pretty good with this. Yep, made the right decision. All right, so a quarter cup of that. I just like buying the stuff that's already minced for me. And I need two garlic cloves, and according to this thing, half a teaspoon is one. So I'll do one teaspoon. Smells so good. Adding a little black pepper. Okay. And then we are adding three tablespoons of ketchup. You can use whatever ketchup you like. All right. I'm also getting my water boiling for the pasta. Okay. So now we've got all of our ingredients, minus the meat, obviously. Okay, so now we're adding in a pound of our venison. So that was half a pound. Like I said, you can do this with beef, turkey, just make sure it's a pound and make sure it's thawed, and make sure it's lean, whatever you decide to do. Now we're gonna massage this in with our mixture and form and put it in the cookie sheet. Make them about this big. 
I'm gonna cook these on our Traeger. You can cook them in the oven, that's totally fine. Um, either way, it's 400 um, Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes or until they're golden brown. So it's totally up to you with what you wanna do, how you wanna cook them, if you have a Traeger, or if you just wanna throw them in the oven. All right, so now we're gonna make our marinara. So in a cold pan, we're gonna put the oil, garlic, and red flakes, and then heat it over the heat until the garlic begins to sizzle, so. All right, so we need four, so I'm just gonna do two full teaspoons. You can do more if you like garlic, which we do. All right, so this is a jalapeno oil, and this was actually sent to me in my P.O. box um, from a fan. In Maryland, it smells amazing, so this will be perfect for this. So we are doing one tablespoon olive oil, and then we've got red flakes, so crushed red pepper. Also adding some onions. The recipe doesn't call for this, but I like onions, so. So now we're going to add 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes. I like the fire roasted, it tastes really good. We're also going to add some oregano. And a little salt and pepper. So I'm gonna use that pink salt again. So you're gonna put this on medium low and then we're just gonna simmer for about 20 minutes. Finished product. So today's arm workout was super fun. My friend Maurice actually came and worked out with me today. Josh is doing um, cardio the whole time. So Maurice and I have been friends since high school. If you guys follow him on Instagram, it's MoWad. He posts really funny memes. Definitely check him out if you need a good laugh. So we worked out, we lifted arms today. We started with heavy bicep curls. So we did five sets of five, so it's five on each arm. Take one or two minute rests in between. You really wanna be using your, your max weight for these. And then we went on to do five sets of 10 of preacher plate curls. And if you guys have been following me on Instagram for a while, you know these. You need to really be careful with these. I've hit myself in the head many times in which I've posted about on Instagram. So definitely make sure you are not, not paying attention on those because you might hit yourself in the head. I've done it many times. Don't feel embarrassed if it does happen. And then we moved on to tricep work. So we went right into um, five sets of 10 of carabiner kickbacks, and that's 10 on each arm. And then we went into five sets of 10 of underhand tricep extensions with the handle. So today was a common theme, five sets of 10. It was just super easy, except for obviously that first one, which was five sets of five. So definitely give this arm workout a try. Um, and I will see you guys in the next clip. I have to do cardio, so it sucks, but I'll see you guys later.
things. Let's take a little swish on here. Mmm, so I got a bison burger. Josh got the cow. Something way too big for my mouth. Nice. Took our cuts. Thank you. You guys want me to grab some more water for you? Yes, please. Thank you. Mm. So we just went and had like, I don't even know. We were so hungry after the gym and so we went and had like a non-planned uh, meal of cheating because that's what it was, it was a cheat meal. Did not plan it. It was not because we were good on our diet, it was simply because we were starving and we were ill-prepared, had no food in the car. Oh my God, oh, what can you do? What can you do? It's delicious though, so whatever. Um, just got some cat litter, super glamorous life. Um, now we're gonna go home, work, finish up the work for the day, answer emails, just a lot of glamorous stuff today. I might do laundry. Like, so cool. So cool. This will probably be the last uh, clip of this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.